Sisters. Well, today I had a really cool experience. I was in town and I hear this divine music. Can you hear it? Ah, oh, it's lovely. Well, it's harp music. And I bumped into Mary Miller, who is none other than a world-renowned, award-winning harpist. She's been featured on Rolling Stone magazine. The Wall Street Journal, CBS, Good Morning America, Parent Magazine, L, just a whole bunch. She answered a few of my questions. She was a really busy lady because there were tons of people drawing to her booth because, well, can you blame them? The music's pretty cool. She spoke about her baby music, which was really awesome. We've been studying a lot about the research done on brain waves and what music does to the body. Here's what she had to say. Stay tuned. How are you doing today, Mary? I'm doing great. Thank Your you. Your harp is heavenly. Thank you. Do you think they play it in heaven? Yes, I know they yeah. play it in heaven. <laughs> and, angels play it, and angels play it on earth. Yeah. Yes. I wanted to ask you, you, you've made some awesome baby CDs. Yes. That the music, there's so many studies about babies and the brain waves and what music does to them. What feedback are you getting from parents who've been using your music? Um, that it makes the child go to sleep instantly because the harp is the only instrument that's medically proven to literally soothe and release. The other thing about the harp music is that children that have autism can only hear harp music. It's the only one that doesn't amplify ten times per year. But the other thing too with my music, I make sure that every song is the same tempo and the exact same volume because it's really important that it stays but I play a lot of hospitals whenever I'm playing for the patients and try to make sure that all students stay the exact same tempo. Yeah. If your heart could talk, what message do you think it would give the world? That there's good, there's a God that loves you, and that everything is mapped out, and we see life as a bright or a people, not knowing that there's a bigger picture. And I would think your heart and your heart. Yes. What message would you give to somebody who's at a nine to five job and hasn't done so and they're bored and they hate their job? You know what? There's a couple of great books. There's a book by Dr. Barbara Sher. I could do anything if only knew what it was. I would tell everybody always have multiple streams of income and have a side project. Whatever it is that you find yourself doing to relax whether it's like reading a magazine Start a blog. If you like scrapbooking, get a vendor and start selling it. But there's in so many ways, there's so many ways to turn your passion into profit these days that just follow your heart. Like you have to follow your heart. You're here once. If you don't have to, don't wish your day doing something that you hate. Thank you so much. And thank right. you for gifting the world with your beautiful. And now we'll play some music. Okay. Thank you guys. Check out her music. We're going to have some of her links on our website, thethinktakers.com.